Terry Guo and the CEO of Foxconn announced the presidency run for Taiwan. And this is not the first time that Terry Guo announced his presidency attempt for Taiwan. In Miles' early years broadcast in, in 2017, 2018, and 2019, Terry Guo was frequently mentioned and Miles had been whistleblowing about how he was actually collaborating with the Chinese Communist Party and even decided by the CCP for him to become the president of Taiwan. And Miles had been confident that it's CCP strategy to elect Terry Guo as the president of Taiwan. One, simply because CCP has confidence in Terry Guo for three rearms, the business, production, and industrialization. They also believe that Terry Guo is the one who to interact and connect between the among United States, PRC China, and Taiwan. And one thing is we have seen and we have been aware of Terry Guo's folks con industrial factories and, and cities in Shenzhen had been notoriously for its brutal working conditions and how the workers there committed suicides, not just one year, not just one time. Many suicide was reported from the Foxconn industrial cities. These events were all covered up by the Chinese Communist Party. And Miles had confirmed that when Foxconn's industry cities moved from Shenzhen to Henan province, this project was handled by the PLA and Central Intelligence Agency of the CCP directly. And Terry Guo, when he visited China, he was able to actually conduct in-person meetings with the Central Committee of the Chinese Communist Party. So this is how the Chinese Communist Party supported supported Terry Guo, trained Terry Guo, and wanted to implement and deploy Terry Guo as the next president of Taiwan. Terry Guo had a profound relationship with Xi Jinping and with Wang Qishan, the former vice premier that we just mentioned that she's top one enemy within the Chinese Communist Party. Terry Guo, interestingly, also had various interests and in, in business relationship with Jiang Zemin, the former president of China. So these relationships align with the interest of the Chinese Communist Party, not just the former officials, also with the current officials and maybe even future officials of the CCP. This is the primary reason that the Chinese Communist Party needed Terry Guo so much in Taiwan.